National Football League on EA Sports. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here in Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Here's Isaiah Rogers to return, and up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. This is Marlon Mack. The game's first play. Produces six yards, brings up second down. Jonathan Taylor and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34 yard line this defense for the Chiefs they were excellent a week ago in the victory over Arizona and the big difference in the ball game their ability to force turnovers three of them in fact being able to take the ball away give it back to their offense that's something that's emphasized each and every week and they carried it out they'll try and run for the first with Taylor and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 that's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense, in this case. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And the Chiefs are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine route? 9 meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They go play fake. Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field, everyone getting their feet wet early. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. On the handoff, the 
this is Mostert. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And a short gain down to about the 33. Not the kind of gain that we'll go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A gain of three, second down. We're scoreless after one. They run it here with Oliver. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper. It's going to bring up a fourth down. Try it now with Mostert, and he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And this Colts defense comes up with a goal line stand. So after the INT, it's Kaepernick. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Back to the air on second down. It's Kaepernick. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. Try to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. On the handoff, Taylor. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Here's Kaepernick to throw. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First and 10, Taylor now. 
Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. To throw, Kaepernick. That's complete to the running back, Naeem Hines. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On first down, Hines, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Kaepernick now on first down. Uses his stiff arm. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. As he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Boy, this is a well-orchestrated drive they've put together. You think back to how far they were backed up to start things out, but they've gone on a march. That and that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Mo Alley Cox, his first touchdown on the year. And the Colts go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. McCole Hardman to return it from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive as they take over with just 17 seconds left before the break. They're going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by Butker is on target. And we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And here's Rodgers to return. And able to get this out to the 25. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. 
It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Working with a second and three. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a game on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. There to stop him was Darius Leonard. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. A second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. A lot of people call the toss a probing play to see what they can get against the defense to see how they adjust and react. Their probing's working pretty well. That was a very nice run. Edwards Alaire to try to run for it. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On second down, Mostert. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five. Stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Offensively, not what they wanted there, but hey, you can kick the field goal here and take the lead. Felt like a little bit of a statement stop, didn't it? You know, made a big play right there. Okay, guess what? Ball's in your court, guys. What are you going to do? Myself, I kick the field goal, get the three, and take the lead. A field goal would break the tie, but look at this. Instead, they're going to go for it on fourth and goal. Now this time, Mahomes will throw, escaping the pressure right. And it's caught. A great open field tackle is going to stop him shy of the goal line. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Colts defense comes up with a goal line stand. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. 
Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the yeah. coach's address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. It's Taylor. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And they'll two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. A first down and then some, 36 yards. Now a give to Taylor. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still. Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? To throw, it's Kaepernick. That's complete to Jack Doyle, the tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. On first down, Kaepernick. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. Oh, some strong running. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown in the Jonathan Taylor, his second. An extra point up and through, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. McCole Hardman to return it from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And he'll 
He'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. And it was Quiddy Pay who made the stop coming off the edge. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Mahomes will throw. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Mahomes. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. Charles, just a gigantic play right there. Absolute breakdown defensively, but take no credit away. A huge gain, and that turns things around. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. Three yards the gain there, second down. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are in the field? The drive continues as they search for a tying touch. Mahomes. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we may very well be headed to overtime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Rodgers on the return. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that. And this is going to be intercepted. Monte Nicholson picks it. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. Yeah, yeah, we, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major used to say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. A little unconventional, but another kneel down here as they work towards a field goal try. Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. This one's knuckling it. It just does get over the crossbar. He didn't get much of it. 